Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Zaida, working as specialist gynecologist from Asta Hospital, Sohar. Yeah, today I thought we'll have a video session on diet in pregnancy. So, for to have a healthy baby, you need a healthy mother. And for healthy mother, the important thing is diet. Diet plays a very important role to have a healthy baby. Now, in our day-to-day -day se uh, OBD sessions, we find it difficult to explain to you what type of diet you are supposed to take. So, I hope this session will be useful. Yes. Why? Now, coming coming to the diet, what is the importance of diet? Why do we give so much of importance to diet? First thing, you need not have two persons diet in pregnancy, or you need not have any special diet. Only thing that you have to care about is that you have different varieties of food in pregnancy that gives balanced nutrients which is necessary for you and for your baby. So what are the different variety of food that I need to take? You need to have carbohydrates, you need to have proteins in equal proportions, you need to take small amount of fat, lot of fruits and vegetables and milk and milk products. So first, fruits and vegetables. Yes, five portions of fruits and vegetables per day is necessary in your diet. They provide adequate vitamins and minerals and also they help in digestion and prevention of constipation, which is a very important complaint that we see in pregnant women. Now, next, next is about the carbohydrates. Why carbohydrates do you require in your diet? They play an important source of energy. So that is why you need to take one third of your diet should be carbohydrates. Now, what are these carbohydrates? Where do I get from carbohydrate from? Yes, first thing, your rice that you take, especially a brown rice or you can take a long grain rice, potatoes, oats, pasta. These are all carbohydrate diet. You need to have at least, again, five portions of carbohydrates in your diet per day. Now, what type, especially I would like to tell you all that carbohydrates should be of low glycemic index. What is this low glycemic index? That means they should release sugar in a small proportion so that you don't gain weight and also your uh, sugar level doesn't hike. So what are the food with low glycemic index? Especially the long grain rice, the multi-grain bread, oats, the wheat, you know, rice, uh, the chapatis that you take then sweet potato, fruits, vegetables, low-fat yogurt. These are all carbohydrates with low glycemic index. So make up a chart for yourself. The fruits and vegetables, now carbohydrate. Next, proteins. Proteins, again, you require about two to three portions, two portions of proteins in a day. So in the, in the form of either uh, egg, poultry, lean meat, fish, so these are the protein diet and proteins why do you require again proteins proteins they are building block for your baby's cells they help the baby's growth and development you see that these meat is well cooked before you eat and also fish fish if you take at least two portions of fish in a week take oily fish like the salmon sardine and the fresh tuna so Har is quite famous for it so the fresh tuna that is that will give you the adequate amount of proteins that you require but and also be careful that you avoid shark and uh, sometimes swordfish i would not recommend it because they contain toxic pollutants which is not good for your baby now next is calcium calcium again very good for you or uh, baby's bones and teeth so you, you need to take calcium in the form of milk which is about 200 ml per day in the form of yogurt about 150 grams of low fat yogurt i would advise you and next is cheese cheese about 30 ounces of cheese per day that will give enough calcium that is required for you and as well as for your baby I know we all have a craving for to have some chips or chocolates. So they do have fat. We like butter, we like ghee. But see that you take it in very small proportions. Maybe one or two teaspoons of butter or ghee is fine. Okay. Occasionally, uh, some chips or chocolates is also okay. Now next, what I would like to important tips that you need to be very careful in pregnant is that whatever fruits and vegetables you eat, see that you wash them thoroughly and take out all traces of soil. Because this contains an important parasite called toxoplasmosis which increases the risk of miscarriage. Second, drink bad. Avoid drinking unpasteurized milk or soft cheese because they again can cause listerosis which is again harmful to your baby. 
Third thing, cook, cook your meat or the egg properly. Third, fourth thing, coffee. I know we all craze for coffee, but see that you limit it to about 200 mg. That is one cup of coffee is fine. So these are the healthy tips that I would like to give for my patients. So today itself, make up your diet plan for yourself and see that you involve all this in your diet chart. So a healthy body gives you a healthy baby and you are not at loss. Thank you.